Hello and welcome to the episode 193 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll touch upon some early engagements, three Ivor Novello Awards, and a long 1968 recording session. Let's start the episode with two engagements happened on the 12th of July 1962. The Beatles, still with Pete Best on drums, performed another two-hour lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. In the evening, instead, they played at the Majestic Ballroom in Birkenhead for the third time in a fortnight. In 1963, the first Beatle EP, Twist and Shout, came out in UK. It contained four songs from the band's debut LP, Twist and Shout, A Taste of Honey, do You Want to Know a Secret? and There's a Place. The release spent 21 weeks on the number one place in the charts and spent 64 weeks, more than a year, in the UK charts, selling more than 800,000 copies. In other news, today the Beatles performed two gigs for the fifth of six consecutive nights at the Winter Gardens in Margate. In 1964, we get the start of a kind of mini-tour, with the Beatles engaged at the Hippodrome Theatre in Brighton for the first of five summer concerts around Britain's holiday resorts. Jimmy Nicol, the drummer who had subbed for Ringo Starr while he was hospitalised in early June, as we discussed in episode 154, featured on the bill tonight with his group, the Shop Dubs, along with the foremost. On the road to the venue, George Harrison had a minor accident with his new Jaguar, without any serious consequence. In 1966, the Beatles won three Ivor Novello Awards for some of their 1965 work. Yesterday was the most outstanding song of the year, We Can Work It Out was the top-selling single of 1965, Help was the second best seller. The prize, started in 1956 by the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors, and named after the entertainer Ivor Novello, is still awarded today to the best songwriters and composers in the industry. Before closing the show, let me ask you what you think about this episode and the podcast in general. Leave me a comment if you can, let me know. You can visit my website and do that through the contact form, if push comes to shove. And since you're there, please visit www.simonmas.com support if you are so fab to offer a hand and make the production of this and more music-related content possible. Thank you! In 1968, the Beatles were again at the EMI Studios, this time between 3 p.m and 4 a.m. Ringo's first ever song, Don't Pass Me By, neared its completion with overdubbings of violin, bass and piano fed through a Leslie speaker, followed by a mixdown for Ringo to take away. Fun fact, the violinist for the session was the same Jack Fallon that had been instrumental for the booking of the second live appearance of the Beatles in the south of England on the 31st of March 1962. Check out episode 90 of What A Fab Day if you want to know more. The work continued with two new mono mixes of Obladi Oblada, one for Paul and one for John. Then, starting at midnight, the band overdubbed new lead guitar and bass parts onto Revolution, following with a mono mixdown of the result, again with copies for John and Paul. Well, this concludes another episode of What A Fab Day. Thank you for your support, and remember to join me tomorrow for more stories about the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.